other people joining us shortly. Uh, this is Janelle Mayer. I'm the Development Director for the Tyler Clemente Foundation. If I haven't met you in person yet, I hope to change that. I hope to see you soon. I am delighted to have you join us today. Thank you for all your support. And I'm going to turn it over now to Sean Kosofsky, our Executive Director. Thank you, Jonil. Yes, this is Sean Kosofsky. You may all know that you are all muted on the call right now, but um, I just wanted to welcome everyone and thank you for expressing some interest in seeing the new logo that we have for the Tyler Clemente Foundation. Uh, and a nice welcome on behalf of our entire board and staff. And joining us on the call, who can say hello really quickly, is Jane Clemente, um, one of our founders. Hi, thank you so much for coming and joining us today and sharing with us in our exciting announcement for today. Thanks so much. Thank you, Jane. Um, so right now, folks should be able to see our website um, where we have been building it and building it and developing it over the past couple of years um, and uh, currently branded with our existing logo and um, color scheme that we've been using for some time. Um, but we've come a long way since the creation of the organization in 2010, which happened just a month after Tyler passed. Um, in October of 2010, the family courageously decided they didn't want any other young people to have the same fate as Tyler, and so they created the Tyler Clemente Foundation. And in the time since 2010 till now, we've gone through a lot of growth. Um, of course, the organization was born from tragedy, but we um, are trying to make an impact in many young people's lives and even some adults, too. So um, the interest in us developing the organization and growing it has been um, um, a team effort by our board and our staff. Uh, we've undergone a very significant um, transformation in the past five years just since the fall of 2014, we've been growing a lot. We've doubled our budget. We've doubled our staff. Um, we ended 2015 with a $600,000 um, budget last year, and this year we'll be adding what I think will be our fourth full-time staff person. And we have rolled out numerous programs um, in 2015, including the very popular Day One campaign, and dramatically scaled up our online and media presence. And so with all of that attention, all that growth, and all that change, we felt it was time to invest in a new logo and some new branding. Um, a little bit of background, um, just to let everyone know, this call will probably go 10 or 20 minutes today, so we're not going to take up a lot of time. Um, but uh, we were approached by a pro bono design firm who offered to help craft a new logo for us. We worked with them for a few months, and the terrific ideas that they were coming back with just weren't the right fit for us. So we took a stab ourselves as the board and staff at mocking up a couple different versions of something that we felt would really capture the interests of what our board and our staff were after. We then sent those designs to a young man named Derek Miller Hanley, who, interestingly enough, is a graphic designer who was um, a Point Foundation scholarship recipient. He actually received the scholarship from Point Foundation named after Tyler. There was a Tyler Clemente scholarship at Point Foundation. Derek was the recipient. We had a relationship with him, and he was in graphic design and offered to do this pro bono for our foundation, which is terrific. So if you're all at your computers now, I will show you the new logo. Um, let's see here. So here is the new logo that we came up with. We've gone through many different designs and color schemes and configurations, and here's where we've arrived. So to explain this, which you'll see um, an explanation on the next slide, um, I'm just going to give you a minute to kind of take it in, because then I will describe it on the next slide. So there's the first screen is what we will call outframe, which is whenever the logo is on a, a, a plane of the background color, which is teal, this is how it would look. But when it's in frame as the basic logo, you'll see this on slide two. So to describe this logo, I want to just um, explain a few things about the mark. Um, Tyler is at the center of this logo and at the center of this branding. You can see in the name Tyler Clemente Foundation, his name is in bold because a lot of this is because of him and his name is central and his story is central to our work. 
also mark the logo on the left hand side um, very central Tyler is in the middle of it um, and the T and the C that um, comes from underneath the T are of course Tyler's initials um, one other thing to notice about this symbol is that it looks remarkably like the power on symbol on millions of millions of devices in our homes and in our cars and in our offices. And the power on symbol to us is iconic. It talks about technology and it talks about the cyber world. Not only is the cyber harassment that Tyler endured a huge part of his story and ours, but our work, our programmatic work to end cyberbullying, in addition to face-to-face -face bullying, only seems to include something that looks close to the power on symbol. And of course, Tyler's story powers on our work and powers on our mission. You'll notice that we have maintained the color gold in our logo. The gold stands for the golden rule, which we ultimately believe is a powerful, simple, principle about treating others the way you would like to be treated. We've maintained this. It was a value of our organization to maintain it, and so it remains in our logo to this day. Um, we also have, if you look at the power on symbol a slightly different way, you'll notice that it's an almost completed circle. Completing the circle starting from tragedy and trying to work to make something beautiful out of something horrible that happened is another part of the story of what we do at the Tyler Clementi Foundation. Finally, and this takes a careful eye, um, but it has been remarked to us by a few individuals that when they're looking at the logo, the, or the gold um, C at the bottom and the space above it almost looks like arms hugging Tyler, hugging the T in the logo, which is a sweet gesture that people saw this on their own when observing the logo. We also think the font is youthful and playful and will um, uh, attract a younger audience also to um, what could be a very iconic um, image for the organization. So another couple ideas for folks to see here on page three, which is the final page uh, that we'll be showing today is the mark standing alone with the T and the C on the left out frame on a teal background. And then on the right hand side for simplicity, there will be times where the mark and the logo will be used in black or white. So you can see the different variations of this. Um, so this is the story of how the logo came about. It's about a seven or eight month process. Our organization is very excited to begin rolling out on Monday with a blog post, possibly a press release, um, social media pushes, and an email to our um, seven or 8,000 folks that we have in our supporter base um, broadcasting the new logo and the story to everyone. But we wanted everyone on this call to get a sneak peek at the logo before it was revealed to the world. And folks who were invited to this call who couldn't make the call will get an email from us tomorrow showing them the logo in advance of the Monday broad release of the logo. And it should happen on the website, be fully integrated by Monday as well. So I'll stop there and ask if Jonil or Jane have anything to add. And if not, we'll open it up to any questions or comments. Um, Jonil or Jane, do you have any questions or anything to add? No, I'm good. You did a great job. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. And if Jonelle does not speak, I will take that as a cue that we can move right to questions. Um, so Katie, if you can help us then uh, field any questions or comments that are coming in from anyone who's on the call. Absolutely. Let me go ahead and share what we've got um, so far. And for folks who've joined the call, um, you should see an option that says questions on your screen. You can simply click the plus sign to the left of that. That will expand and then let you type in your questions. So let me go to our questions panel, see what we have so far. Uh, Talita put in a comment. She says, great job. And I love the connection with Point Foundation. What a great story. Terrific. Thank you so much, Talita. Big supporter of ours. Thank you. And it looks like that's all I've got so far. It may take folks a few moments to type in some, some questions or comments, but that's what I've got so far, Sean. 
and uh, there's no need for folks to to comment. I'm I'm sure people are basking in all of the glory of the new logo and are just <laughs> <laughs> taking it all in. Uh, but there, there's really no need for questions and comments if folks don't have them, and they can certainly reach us um, offline after the webinar. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll hang tight for an extra couple minutes and see if folks have any other things they'd like to share or ask. Great, sounds good. Again, nothing else at this point. Um, so we, we might be good to go. All right. Well, if there are no other comments coming in, then we'll end it here. And uh, thank you all for joining us today. And we're excited about this. And we hope you are as excited as we are. Uh, and start telling your friends if you'd like um, after tomorrow about the new logo. And uh, thank you all for your support. Have a wonderful rest of your week.